All right, so let's get right into episode three of the said tutorial. Um, I'm, I've kind of rearranged the commands a little bit just because there's some that are a little bit easier or faster to teach than others, and I'm kind of putting them in a order that to me makes more sense. So first off for this episode is um, on the substitute command. We already talked about substitute with p as a flag, which will only print the lines that were substituted for. The capital I flag is the ignore case flag. So if in Ruby you're used to doing patterns and putting in a little I after them, it's kind of the same sort of thing. If you're not used to Ruby, then just ignore that. Um, there's other languages that do a similar thing. Um, but if I pipe this into said and I say switch roses for blue with a capital I, then even the roses that has a capital R in the front of it gets substituted. Um, w will actually come back to that in a second. First, let's talk about Y. And Y is a lot like the Unix uh, TR command, if you're used to that. Basically, what it does is it changes characters. So if, for example, I have a line that says A, B, C, D, E, um, or that, this might confuse you. Let's just do A, C, E. And then I'll take this line and I'll pipe this into set and I'll use Y. And I'm going to ch change uh, A and E to B and F. And now it says B, C, F. So character for character in the order that they're written, like in this case it was A, E for B, F. So it's going to substitute A for B and E for F and every occurrence in the line. So if I did ace, 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 and then I piped that through the same command, you get PCF a bunch of times. So it's like the TR command. It just changes single characters to a different version of themselves. And in more complicated uses of said, this can, this can be useful for doing um, like incrementing letters or, or even doing addition at times, depending on how you're doing it. The W flag stands for write, as in write to file, and we already talked some about um, we already talked some about how you can use the redirection characters in Bash to write to a file. Like this could be piping to my output, and then I could run my sed commands here. Um, w is a sed command which goes in between the two strings. Right, and you you actually specify the file right after you write W in this fashion. So you don't need the output in this case. And this can be useful if, say, for example, I only want to, um, we'll change this from in to example, and I only want to write lines that match vim to the file example. So if I do that, and then I look at example, it only gets the line that has vim in it. Okay, so that's all that does. The S, the substitute with the W flag is similar, except that it only writes the lines that were substituted for. Okay, the R command in sed is a lot like the R command in vim, where if I do colon R and then feed it the name of a file, then it will read that file in after the line I'm currently on. Um, I can also give this a range like dollar sign and then it will put it at the end of the file. You can do that in sed too because sed also uses ranges, right? And if I did dollar $R and then the name of a file, it's going to wait until it gets to the end of the file to even look at this command, right? Because in sed, ranges kind of work like if statements. So until it gets to the end of the file, this will always be false. But once it does, it's true, and then it'll execute that command and put poem in at the end. Q um, causes sed just to stop. It's kind of like exit. So if I did uh, sed-npqp, then it's just going to print the first line in just one time. Because after it hits that Q, it just stops executing. Okay. Pound signs are uh, comments instead, like they are in a lot of other languages. So one use of this, or one, one really useful use of this, is if I want to make a said script, um, let's name this file script, for example, 
and let's first save this as a or let's ch change the file type to said then I can put like this as a comment and then I can do like switch roses for blue and ignore case and write that to a file called example right and that'll be our script so now I have this file called script and I can use said with the dash f flag which stands for file I guess to specify the script I want to use and then I can use poem here and it will act as if I did as if I was uh, redirecting poem in and outputting it you know or, or executing the commands inside the script here so you could also you could also use the redirect here um, and it does the same thing the difference is that this is a argument for said instead of stdn being redirected but it's the same result and you will see that it does make a file called example that writes to the line that was substituted for based on our script um, you can also kind of use the unixy way of doing this by um, making a shebang line and for that shebang line you can just use the dash f flag right here and that'll work the same way you just have to make the script executable and then I can use script poem for example and that will do the same thing if you needed to use a dash n flag you could also put that right in here so that's useful um, that's pretty much all we're gonna cover for this episode uh, maybe we'll be able to finish it off in the next episode however these two lines are gonna get pretty complicated this is the more the more complicated commands in said um, but we can handle it and we'll get there so thank you very much for watching once again